So why, why would we have one mirror here, one mirror here? So this mirror is for the face, and this is for the ass. Hello, my dear beautiful bastards, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Me and Paladin Dance are here, right outside of Diamond City, where we will check out another apartment that exists right outside of Diamond City. We're gonna go up these, uh, well, these ramps, and then we're gonna go check it out. I do not know, is it available on the consoles, but it is available on a Nexus for the PC. And the frame rate here, I don't know what is happening, man. The frame rate here is worse than before, and I do have a computer that should handle it. I guess this game really hates me. This game hates me, even after 400 hours, just hates me. The Colonial 47, that is the name of the apartment. This is the entrance. All of this, I believe, has been added. This should not exist. See this path across and this entrance so we're gonna go inside and check it out supposedly it is very beautiful it has three levels the first level is the house the second level is the workshop area and the third level is the outside patio or the terrace and here we are lovely oh it has such a beautiful noir vibe immediately very nicely decorated. Oh, it has an elevator. Ah, so that's how you go from one level to another. Very nice. We have the teddy bear. Dance. How do you like it? How do you like it? Tell me. Tell me, come on. I need your opinion. You are here because I need your fucking opinion, Dance. You're not here to, to just uh, marvel at the beauty of this place or look m me in the eye and, and just show me your empty eyes. Like you have never existed in the first place. Are you in my imagination? Do you even exist? How do I know you exist, Dance? How do I know I did not make you up and, and I am just imagining you right here? I honestly don't know. So these must be the baseball bats that the person who lived here used. Yes or no? Baseball cap, sweater, vest and slacks, casual outfit, army fatigues. Uh-huh. So was the... Pr Dance, what are you doing? Please just stay still and do not mess anything up in the apartment. This is very important. If you mess something up, how am I supposed to show the people the beauty of this place? So please just control yourself. So this little suitcase was here because he was getting ready to go. Where? To the army? Probably to the army. Yes, because of the bombs and everything and he was getting ready to go. But unfortunately the bombs fell. And killed everyone! Everyone is dead! We can open the curio. Can we interact with anything inside? No, we cannot. But it is pretty. The curio down here is empty. <laughs> the curio. That's the first time I'm hearing this word. Curio. Curio! I like it. Especially with my accent. I believe you guys are gonna like it as well. Curio. So, from now on, whenever you see this, refer to it as... Curio. Exactly how I say it. Try to practice that. Try to practice that because a lot of people keep telling me that uh, they can't say things like I say them. But that's not right. You just need to train your tongue to learn how to say it because in your language, especially if you're American, uh, you don't have that. You know, you never learn that. But you can learn that because, you know, it's just a language. You can learn it. You can learn the pronunciations very, very easily. What do we have here? Oh, uh -huh. we have a gun that is not interactable. Guns and bullets. Okay. Hmm. I see. So this guy is someone who played baseball and then decided to go into the army. That makes the most amount of sense. And again, <laughs> this one appears everywhere. This little ship or boat. And in the safe, we have the... Paladin, will you stop it? Stop going... See, this is this is because I unlocked him. If I had not unlocked him, he would not be able to pick this safe from the other side of the wall. It's just entirely inappropriate behavior. So we have the calibers, the rounds, the revolver pistol, and a silver tablespoon. Now, I assume that he used this silver tablespoon to shove it uh, in his butthole. That is my assumption, because why else would you put a silver tablespoon in your safe? It doesn't belong in a safe. 
So the only reason why someone would place it in a safe is to shove it up there as the butthole. Nice. I think you should stay on point. Your instincts seem to be right on target. Right on target. Thank you. Thank you, Dance. Thank you. See? Some appreciation is always nice from Paladin Dance. Wild Gourd Blossom. We can harvest this. Oh, that is so nice. I did not even notice that this is growing on the side like this. Oh, that's actually a brilliant idea. Wait, how, how did he do this? Huh. Did he place these individually? Let me check the workshop. I'm curious to see how exactly did he do this. So obviously these can be... These are interactable normally, but if I... Extra object selection. Oh, this is an entire item. I see. See? This right here. It's an entire item. So, I suppose it exists in the game and can be placed. Which is nice. Not bad. I did not know that. So I just wanted to check. I am sorry if I have proven myself to be a clueless bastard. Especially after so many hours of building. Paladin, you really like the wild gourd. Why? Do you have a rela relationship with the wild gourd? You concern me. Every day, man. Every single day. Oh, we got more baseball stuff over here. The bar... What? Bar Harbor. I see. This is the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is kinda... What? Looks like something is missing here. Must be a, a problem with, with the mods. Some conflicted things are happening here because... <laughs> this is not supposed to float. Floating is bad. Oh, ramen. Give me some ramen. From the early days of poorness. Cooking stove. Oh, we can... Cr oh, this is a cooking stove that is craftable. Oh, nice. Allows crafting and stuff. That is actually very cool. Over here, something is also missing. The fridge. Definitely, this is the fridge. It is missing. And the table is missing as well. Okay, let's go downstairs. This is... And the basement, yes. Large toolbox. We got the weapons workbench. Nice. It actually looks very... It looks appropriate, what can I say, man? It's really well done. Very immersive. And we got problems here, so please do not start a fire here. If you start a fire here, everyone's gonna die. Did you hear that, Paladin? Don't start fires. Where it's inappropriate, where you're gonna kill us all. But you don't really give a shit because you have the power armor. You're gonna die never. So he doesn't care. This is the exit. No, it's not. This is the lovely bathroom. It even has the water inside. That's so pretty. Decontaminator 3000. Can I... I cannot activate it. I don't need to. I don't need to decontaminate myself. I am perfect. In perfect health. Robert Jonesy has never been healthier. No need for decontamination. But it does have a very, very nice vibe. The noir vibe and it's very immersive. But perhaps I said that already. So I should not mention it anymore. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Confirm character. What did I, did I break something? Okay, I didn't break anything. Jesus Christ. Whew, for a moment there, I thought I was gonna die. Surgery mirror. I see. So I can change my face in this mirror, even though it is a bit buggy. But like I said uh, many, many times before, I'm using about 200 mods, I think. Around 200. So things are bound to be fucky. On this side... What is this? Is this a... This a broken mirror? Why, why would we have one mirror here, one mirror here? So this mirror is for the face, and this is for the ass. Ah, so he can change his ass as well. Even though the face is here. So perhaps this one is for the ass. But that makes no sense, because the ass is down, and this mirror is down. And this mirror is up, which means this one should be for the face. But perhaps the person who lived here had an ass face. Huh? And then the face butt.
Maybe. I'm not really sure. I'm, I don't have enough knowledge to understand this situation. Oh wait, is it... Is it getting dark? So it's getting darker. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the colors. Really nice. And wait, what is this here? Why, why is it flickering? Is it gonna explode? What is happening here? Paladin, did you do something? Oh, he did something. What is this? I am afraid of this. Please don't. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's leave this before something bad happens. Wait, wait, I am using the light. Oh, yes, I am using the light now. Okay, we're gonna use the light so we can see better. The fence. No, wait, this is the exit. Is it the exit? Yes, it is, because the the terrace, the patio is up. So I need to use the elevator to get there. Now it's gonna take seven years to load, even though I am using an SSD. Without the SSD, it takes around two and a half minutes to, lo to load the game. Oh no, here we are. Here we are outside. But yeah, if you play Fallout 4 anywhere, just get an SSD immediately. Get an SSD right now, it's gonna save your... It's gonna save you... Well, every time you play, it's gonna save you at least 20 minutes. Probably. <laughs> 20 minutes of waiting time where you do nothing. So this is the beautiful roof area. Where we have a very nice pool. And uh, when I say very nice, I mean shitty. Terrible. And also there are scary things inside. Goose. Geese are very, very terrible uh, beings. They're very terrible animals. Uh, when If you go ahead and Google goose, all you're gonna see is, is hate and geese attacking humans. That's all you're gonna see because that's what geese do. They're assholes. And just today I saw a video where a dog kept biting goose that kept attacking a human. It was pretty funny and cute at the same time. Sometimes it gets confusing, you know, it's, it's funny, cute and terrible at the same time, so you don't know how to feel and then you want to kill a baby or something, but you don't end up doing anything. Do you guys ever feel like that? I hope it's a common feeling. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm saying. Let's sit on the couch, see what's happening here. Let's blend into the world. Let's absorb information around the world. The ruined world. Oh, it's nice. Pretty nice. Okay, get up. Stop sitting around, Robert. Don't be a stupid little lazy bastard. Let's go back inside. Let's see how fast is it gonna be to load. One, two, three seconds, four seconds. A few seconds. Still a lot. Turn it on again. Very cool. And look at that. Oh, the roof has a glass roof. Glass portion of the roof. So, what if I use the elevator? Where is it gonna send me? Ground floor. Oh, what is this? Oh, so this is the... Ah. This is the workshop area. Oh, man. It's so grim. Oh, it's so nice. I did not expect this. Check it out. Going down here, everything is blocked. It's definitely very, very workshoppy. You know, it, it does look like some sort of a workshop basement. And it's only accessible through a, through an elevator, which also adds some sort of a little bit of extra immersion into it. You know, because you cannot get here any other way except through one door and then through an elevator. And I feel like that, that kind of makes this place... I don't know, it gives you the feeling like it's deep within the ground, you know, so it's kind of both safe and uh, mysterious. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, I'm not sure am I able to convey my thoughts properly to you, my lovely people. Anything over here? No. But yeah, this this is where we have a couple of planters, chemistry station, it's, just, it's very nicely done, very nice. <sighs> I don't want to be here too long. It does have this little, you know, the claustrophobic feel. So, let us go back up. Very nice. I am a big fan of the 
elevator basement. Paladin, I'm sorry you didn't see the elevator basement, but I feel like uh, you would uh, have a lot of trouble in your mind if you went down there, so it's best that you didn't go there, okay? Don't look at me like that. Don't, don't you look at me like that. So inappropriate all the time. So wait, can I interact with this door here? No, I cannot. But yeah, that is all. That is all for this apartment. It's it's quite nice. Very, very immersive for the third time. You, I am counting what I'm saying. Pretty cool. Very well made. It makes sense as an apartment. It has a very cool basement workshop. It has a roof patio. I mean, it has all the things you want. It even has a shitty pool on the roof. Who doesn't want a shitty roof, a shitty pool on the roof? Everyone likes that. Everyone wants that. That is it. The Colonial 47. Let me know what do you think about it. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to check out the other videos. Click on them. Click on all of that shit. Just click on it. Click everywhere. Click left, right, up, down. Just go ahead and click all over the place because that is what YouTube likes and that is gonna help me greatly. I have been Petar, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petar the Eternally touch your body.